Okay, so far so good. Has our page changed? Well, no, right? We didn't actually do anything yet. We just hooked in these um, files we downloaded. All right, so let's go back to the documentation and see what this guy is saying. All right, add a div to where you add a div tag where you wish the weather feeds are to display and give it an ID. Um, all right, well we already did that because in our document we're ready to pop it in right here right in our weather div so we're good uh, now add a script to call the Z weather feed plugin with an array of location IDs and to find the location ID visit the Yahoo weather page to select okay blah 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 so let's um let's not worry with the customizing this thing let's just see if we could get it to go so we need to pop this in our document so um, wow you know come to think of it with all this stuff we've done so far we have yet to create our own our own uh, fold uh, our own JavaScript file where we're executing stuff so let's let's actually do just that let's create a new new document and a new JavaScript document create and I'll save it um, and let me go so into my script folders. I'll name it script.js. All right. And let me just, I'll just take, oh, I don't need that script part. I just need this part from the example. And I'm going to copy this. Uh, obviously, I'm going to need to change this uh, hash text uh, test because I don't have a test div in my. Uh, I don't have a test div in my um, HTML document, so and okay, test. All right, so let me change this test to weather and well, let's see what we get on on the page. Um, uh, yeah, let's let's see what live view. Dreamweaver's live view tells us. Uh, not too much. Is this actually working? Oh, you know what? We goofed. Or by, by we I mean me. Uh, I created that that script file, but I didn't actually uh, link to it. So, no action. No action is going to happen for sure. So let me do that script.js okay save it now let's try this again oh viola nice it works totally works okay so uh, oh this is our header that we could take this off this is not coming from from uh, from that that's coming from us so let's pull all right let's start tweaking this to, to actually what we want for one we just want one location, not all these different locations. And yeah, let's just see what the rest of the implementation tells us to do. So uh, now, uh, now add the script. Blah blah blah. Okay, so now you want to find your location's ID. It says to find the location ID, visit the Yahoo weather page and select the location. Then click on the RSS. Okay, so we're looking for something similar to this. So let's just go to that link he's providing. Actually, let's hold on. I want to go back and open that up in a new tab. So uh, and I'll go Saint. Yeah, there we go. Saint Petersburg, Russia. It's cold. Uh, all right. So what's the location ID? Well, this this isn't it. Just on the URL, that's not it. It's like some he said to go oh here we go okay now just check this out just something that you should probably start noticing for yourself just with all these things that we've been working on look at this number that we're told to plug in RS for Russia then XX but then when you start looking at at his example look we got London over here and the first one he has says UK XX and EG and what's EG 
EG is for Luxor, and then there's there's uh, Glasgow, and and you kind of see how. Oh look, UK EG. What is that? Well, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, what is this? This is likely Canada and CH. What is that? China. Yeah, there we go. So, um, I need to tweak that code in the script.js to only be the one I want. So, I've actually done this before. What I know is that for this particular feed, you need to hold on to those uh, brackets over there. So don't delete those. You want to delete all this other stuff except for one, right? And then that one should be your specific one. So once I save it, let's see what happens. Ah, cool. There we go. So there's St. Petersburg, Russia. Um, I could totally get rid of this weather, uh, of this he header over here. And instead what I'll put is... Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of co a little bit of uh, comments in here that says uh, weather widget via Z weather feed. I think is that is that what this thing's called again? Uh, yeah, Z weather feed, and then I'll just put that into that code just so I have it for myself uh-huh and look at that pretty quickly we just got this thing right up to where we wanted it to be